On February 16, 2023, Austal USA formally delivered the 13th vessel of the Vanguard class long range fast transport ship to the United States Navy, named the Abaraki Cola. This vessel is the first of its class to possess unmanned driving capabilities and is currently the largest surface unmanned vessel in the U.S. Navy's fleet. The successful design and deployment of the Vanguard class enable the U.S. Army, Navy, and Marine Corps to achieve speeds of 35 to 45 knots while executing maritime transport and delivery missions in operational theaters. In 2001, the United States leased the high-speed catamaran transport ship, JV, from the Australian company INCAT for a period of three years. According to the contract, INCAT was required to modify the vessel to meet U.S. technical specifications for logistical and experimental purposes before delivery. From April to mid-June 2002, the U.S. Central Command deployed the HSV X-1 JV to the Persian Gulf for approximately 60 days to support personnel and equipment delivery missions in support of the Enduring Freedom military operations in Afghanistan. In early August 2002, after returning from the Persian Gulf, the JV was sent to the U.S. West Coast to participate in the Millennium Challenge 2002 military exercises. By late August of the same year, the JV was deployed to Europe to participate in the Victory Strike military exercises in Poland. On March 20, 2003, the first day of the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq, the JV transported members of the U.S. Navy SEALs nuclear counterproliferation team to raid two offshore oil platforms in Iraq. Subsequently, the United States also leased other high-speed catamaran transport ships from Australia, such as the Pioneer-Spearhead, Brown Rainbird, and West Pacific Express. These leased catamaran transport ships were primarily used for coordinated operations by the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard for equipment and personnel transport missions. During their use, it was discovered that these catamaran transport ships exhibited exceptionally high speeds, reaching nearly 40 knots when fully loaded, with a range of 400 nautical miles within 10 hours. This experience proved beneficial to the U.S. military and provided crucial reference for the design and development of the Vanguard class. In terms of design, the Vanguard class long-range fast transport ships adopt a double-hull design, which offers excellent stability, low water resistance, high speed, and reduced risk of capsizing. The hulls are constructed of aluminum alloy to reduce weight and increase surface speed. The bow section houses the bridge, the midsection accommodates the mast, and the aft upper deck features a helicopter landing pad with a landing spot for an MH-60 Arc Seahawk multi-purpose helicopter. The midsection of the stern serves as the cargo hold with an area of 1,800 square meters capable of accommodating various military vehicles and supplies. When transporting military vehicles, the cargo hold can accommodate the majority of vehicles currently in service with the U.S. Army and Marine Corps, including the M1A2 Abrams series main battle tanks. For personnel transport missions, it can be configured to accommodate 15 first-class armed soldiers, 41 armed soldiers in cabins, provide berths for 150 armed soldiers, and aircraft-style seating for 312 armed personnel. To facilitate the loading and unloading of military supplies and vehicles, the stern of the Vanguard class is equipped with cranes on both sides and a folding roll-on-slash-roll-off ramp system, which can be deployed and set up within 5 minutes and folded back within 10 minutes. In terms of performance data, the Vanguard class long range fast transport ships have a length of 103 meters, a beam of 28.5 meters, a standard displacement of 1515 tons, 
a full load displacement of 2,362 tons, and a maximum speed of 43 knots. When transporting a cargo load of 635 tons at a speed of 35 knots, it has a range of 1,200 nautical miles. Regarding onboard electronic equipment, the ship primarily utilizes environmental computers, communication equipment, navigation systems, aviation, and remote surveillance systems, as well as training systems from General Dynamics Mission Systems. Due to its operational theater activities, the armament configuration of the Vanguard class long range fast transport ships is relatively simple. With only four M2 HB.50 caliber heavy machine guns installed. In my view, the Vanguard class's high speed ability to accommodate helicopter operations and equipped with a folding roll-on slash roll-off ramp system and cranes for loading and unloading military supplies and vehicles make it a highly advanced platform. Compared to the current San Antonio class amphibious dock landing ships, LCM-8 mechanized landing craft, and the future light mobile support boat of the U.S. military, it possesses unique advantages. The San Antonio class amphibious dock landing ships are primarily oceanic transport vessels, which incur significant costs when used for transport and delivery of military vehicles, personnel, and supplies within operational theaters. The LCM-8 mechanized landing craft has a maximum speed of only 9 to 12 knots and a maximum range of approximately 165.23 nautical miles. It can transport 200 fully armed soldiers for personnel transport. The future light mobile support boat is expected to have a maximum speed of only 18 knots and a range of 360 nautical miles, capable of transporting one M1A2 Abrams series main battle tank. Compared to the Vanguard class long-range fast transport ships, both the LCM-8 mechanized landing craft and the light mobile support boat lack advantages in speed, range, and personnel and cargo capacity, resulting in slower speed, shorter range, and lower personnel and cargo capacity. In summary, the Vanguard class long-range fast transport ships effectively address the significant cost issues of using the San Antonio class amphibious dock landing ships within operational theaters, as well as the shortcomings of the LCM-8 mechanized landing craft and the future light mobile support boat in terms of speed, range, and personnel and cargo capacity. They efficiently meet the requirements of high-speed transport and delivery missions within operational theaters while minimizing operational costs. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video informative and enjoyable. Stay tuned for more exciting content in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for updates on the latest advancements in technology.